Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. If you're here in this video, obviously, we're going to discuss the alternator failing in my 2014 Wrangler JKU that has a 3.6 engine. Now, when this failed, there was an obvious warning sign. However, because of my situation, I had no choice but to drive it and see how far I could get. But let's have a look at the clip of the noise so if you hear this noise, there's a good possibility that you may have the same issue. So that being said, the noise was very evident. However, I was a couple hours from home. I had no choice. I had to see how far I could make it. The battery light was not on when I left. It was just making noise. However, when the battery light did come on, I only made it a few miles, few kilometers. There she goes onto the flat deck. And then it totally drained down. I got a dual battery set up, but the secondary battery is separated by an isolator but it drained down the main battery enough that it shorted out which um, obviously was not very good however let's get the alternator out and have a look one of the other things i noticed when the alternator burnt up is there was a very distinct electrical burning smell so that was another telltale sign but we need to get this fixed up this is going to be an expensive fix i already priced it out an alternator with a core three hundred dollars Another close to 200 some dollars for a battery. This is not going to be a cheap fix. So now comes the fun part of taking everything out. Like I said, I got the Genesis dual battery set up. So the secondary battery is cut off from the main. So that's basically what saved it. The second battery from being shorted out. So I got the old battery out. And as you can see right here with the multimeter on it, I'm trying to get a reading for volts. I can't get a reading at all. It's just jumping all over the place. I even tried out in the field, try to hook up my solar blanket to it, try to put a charge to it. Won't take a charge at all. So this is the part that's shocking me. I am taking the alternator out to have a good look at it. And this is not what I had expected at all when I removed it. The alternator is now seized solid. I can't even turn it at all like you can see everything that is melted out of it so after a quick run to a couple parts stores I got a new alternator or should I say rebuilt and a new battery stick the alternator in hook everything back up Basically, if you've never done one, you just put it back in the same or the opposite way that you took it apart. Pretty simple. Remember to hook up everything. Putting in the new batteries. And then hook up the Genesis dual battery setup again. And then going to get ready to start it up. And hopefully, don't let the smoke out of the wires. So they got a 1269. Oh, now it's light came on. 14. So this one here is probably charging now. Yeah, secondary battery's charging. Everything was looking good, so I decided to take it over quick, make sure everything's fine. So, like I said, pending problems, definitely like the noise you heard. So, if you have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll see you in the next video.